Welcome everyone to Grand Canyon University, located here in the sun-soaked city of Phoenix, Arizona. I'm your host, Alex Boylan, and we have an incredible episode for you today. Grand Canyon University, a Christian university, is one of the largest and fastest growing universities in this country. And they're dedicated to providing academic excellence while leading a movement of service and leadership with purpose. Their biblically rooted mission is built upon making a difference in the lives of others and unleashing an opportunity for a quality and affordable education through a Christian worldview. Welcome everyone to Grand Canyon University. This is the College Tour. Okay, everybody, let's kick this episode off by hearing first from the university's president. Mr. Brian Mueller is a visionary and innovator in an industry slow to adapt to change. Since Mr. Mueller joined GCU about 13 years ago, the university has experienced unprecedented growth. Enrollment on the Phoenix Ground Campus has increased from roughly 1,000 to over 22,000, while online enrollment has grown exponentially to more than 90,000. He is a force, and he is excited to share the vision of Grand Canyon University with you all. President Mueller, the floor is all yours. Thank you, Alex. It's great to be here today, and thank you for your interest in Grand Canyon University. A lot of people are asking, how did this miracle in the desert happen? Really, 13 years ago, we came here with the idea that could we create a private Christian university that would be affordable to all socioeconomic classes of Americans? It would require a whole different way to think about the economics of higher education. We came here for that purpose. We actually went to the public markets 13 years ago. The public markets actually liked our idea and they invested in it. We brought it back to Phoenix with the idea of creating a hybrid campus. To be honest with you, it worked out way better than we thought. In the fall, we'll have 25,000 students on our campus in Phoenix. We have 90,000 students studying online. They're leveraging a common infrastructure and we haven't had to raise tuition for 13 years. Grand Canyon University students now take out less debt than the average state university student. What happened then is that we had this period of unbelievable growth. Academically, we came here with three colleges, less than 100 academic programs, and today we have nine colleges, over 270 academic programs, including in very difficult and rigorous academic areas like engineering, computer science, information technology, the natural sciences. We've invested almost $1.5 billion into the campus, and it's been ranked the seventh nicest campus in the country. And the growth just isn't stopping. All of those things then led to the development of an incredible community. In fact, I will tell you, if I line up 10 kids today and say, why'd you choose Grand Canyon? Nine out of 10 will say it's the strength of the community. We teach in very small class sizes. We hire professors based upon their ability to teach the material, but we also hire them based upon their ability to build relationships with our students. We have a very vibrant campus culture. Spiritual activities like chapel, where we have as many as 7,000 students there. We probably have the largest intramural sports club program in the country, huge outdoor rec program. We have students in music, theater, dance. Those are all ways for our students to get connected, to build relationships, to build a network of friends. The most important thing that's happened here, though, is that the university is grown up in the middle of an immigrant community that has a lot of needs. A lot of these people are asylum seekers. They're just getting started in America. We decided that our faith expression was going to be lived out by pouring into the lives of these immigrants. And it's our students and our faculty and their willingness to participate in all that that is our faith expression. And that's what we're trying to do here. We're very grateful for how things have gone for us. We've been extremely blessed. In return, we try to bless the community, but I want you to hear it from our faculty and staff and especially our students. And so with that, let me throw it back to Alex. President Mueller, you are an inspirational leader in every sense of the word. We thank you for sharing all that with everyone. You are like a rock star here on campus, and I can see why everyone from the students to the faculty to the parents all love you. Thanks again. Cheers, Brian. You all are gonna be inspired by this next student's story. We're heading over to the GCU labs to meet Eric Yost. Eric is a freshman majoring in mechanical engineering with a minor in business management. 
What this young man is doing to change the world for good using his engineering skill set is absolutely mind blowing. Eric, the floor is all yours. Thanks, Alex. Hey, everyone. Throughout my life, I've always felt the need to go out and serve the world in the name of the Lord. I've always loved engineering and entrepreneurship from a young age, but I didn't know what I wanted to do with my skills specifically. In high school, I was heavily involved throughout campus as student body vice president, four sport varsity athlete, robotics mentor, and a leader in the engineering and entrepreneurship program. I focused my skill set on our ISS program, an elite engineering program where students were able to send their research projects onto the International Space Station. I worked on multiple different teams and eventually sent six different projects into space. My primary project was focused on microbial fuel cells, fuel cells that are able to take any form of organic waste and convert it into electricity. We were able to take this project to the American Society of Gravitational and Space Research and win first place, which was a huge accomplishment. From there, I started to work with NASA on sustainable energy research. I felt my calling to use my skills in engineering to help better the world. When I started looking at colleges, I learned about the Discover GCU trips. I just knew I had to participate. These trips are so immersive and you get to experience firsthand what it means to be a LOPE. During this all expense paid on campus experience, we learned about the dynamic academic programs offered across GCU's nine colleges, connected with GCU's vibrant campus community and explored different ways to connect with current students, faculty and leadership. On this trip, I was introduced to GCU's engineering program, entrepreneurship initiative, a strong sense of Christian community, and a place that I could truly thrive. It was awesome, and I fell in love with GCU. Once on campus, I started my LLC, Generate, a biotechnology company focused on building my fuel cells through the entrepreneurship initiative, so I'm able to fund my nonprofit and help better the world around me. Here on campus, I'm also starting a program called Stellar, which allows GCU students to send their projects to the International Space Station. Here at GCU, you're able to join any club or program and grow your skills and glorify God. You can impact your local community, globally, or even the universe. There's such a multidisciplinary aspect between the colleges where students are able to learn real life skills and apply it all around their life. And I pray that I'm able to glorify God in all that I do, and that He's able to use me as a vessel through my clubs, business, and leadership. Back to you, Alex. Eric, it is so profound to see you use your passion and experience with biotechnology to help make the world a better place. It's all very impressive. Thank you for sharing that. We'll see you soon. Cheers, Eric. We are now heading over to the courtyard of the Colangelo College of Business. Here, we have Maya waiting for us. She's a GCU alum, and she's gonna talk about the community impact beyond the classroom here at Grand Canyon University. Maya, you are on. Hi everyone, I'm a second generation Latina. I was born and raised in Phoenix, Arizona, and my parents are originally from Chihuahua, Mexico. One of the most profound memories I have while attending Grand Canyon University is being able to experience the growth and development. There's so much collaboration between professors and students. You get one-on-one -on -one coaching from professionals who have so much experience in the field. It's amazing to be able to knock on their door and have a conversation with them. Every professor is there to help you through the process and they encourage you to work in small learning groups. GCU offers an excellent curriculum where you learn how to start a business from beginning to end. Entrepreneurship is highly encouraged in the university between staff and students because they're dedicated to the success of the students. My story is a true example of GCU's commitment to community growth and job creation. The Colangelo College of Business has helped me and prepared me to stimulate my ideas and creativity and bring those personal business plans to life. In August of 2019, I opened my first business called Sleep Simple Co. It's a furniture store and mattress store. With GCU's rapid growing community of residence halls and apartments, they needed mattresses. My professors and the Colangelo College of Business Dean made it possible for me to pitch a business proposal to supply GCU with mattresses from my family business. Not only has Grand Canyon University purchased thousands of mattresses from our company, we've had the great opportunity to support West Phoenix local business expansion. 
GCU's partnership has enabled us to provide jobs to members of our community. We started in an 11,000 square foot building and this year our growth has become exponential and we moved into a 30,000 square foot building. I feel so accomplished being able to support the community and provide more jobs in West Phoenix. So this is my story. Alex, back to you. Maya, that was great to hear how GCU supported your business, which in turn supported the surrounding community. It's incredible. That was really fun. Keep up the great work and congrats on all your business success. Cheers, Maya. All right, everyone, now we're heading over to Lopes Way. Here we have Noah Wolf waiting for us. Noah received his undergraduate degree here in Christian studies and is currently getting his master's degree online while serving as the director of alumni relations. Noah is going to share an exciting story about what opening doors and opening arms means right here at Grand Canyon University. Noah, it's all yours. Hey everybody, my sophomore year on campus, I was in a course that was discussing the negative effects of poverty on our society. And there was one class period in particular where we were watching a video of a middle-aged African-American woman who was sharing how her community had been dramatically impacted by low incomes, violence, and drug abuse. As I began to pay closer attention to the words that she was saying, I started to realize that she happened to be from the exact same neighborhood that I was born into, a place full of very little hope. You know, statistically speaking, college can be difficult to access for a lot of people. It's challenging for those who were born into environments similar to mine to pursue higher education. But as I reflect over the course of my life, there have been countless individuals and organizations who have chosen to stand up to statistics and advocate for equal opportunity. Grand Canyon University, without a doubt, has proven themselves to be one of these organizations. This place is so special to me because it is a champion of inclusion, community, Community and equal opportunity for all. Regardless of where we come from, everyone here is valued as a child of God that is wonderfully made. Together, we remain unified through the belief that Christ's death and resurrection brings us in as one incredible family. During my time on campus, I had the ability to interact with so many different types of people from so many diverse backgrounds. Our students, staff, faculty, and alumni represent all socioeconomic classes of Americans. And in my opinion, that is something uniquely special to this place. GCU is teaching people not just how to live together, but how to thrive together, how to collaborate with one another on some of our community's most challenging problems so that we can make a difference. All of this is coming from a place that says if we work together and remain unified under key principles, we can make the world a better place. I've never experienced a culture like this, a Christian community of people who are deeply committed to serving one another. My senior year, I had the privilege of serving in the role of student body president, and today I get to serve as our director of alumni relations. I could not be more grateful to be a part of a workforce full of thousands of individuals who are passionate about the purpose of coming alongside people and helping them find theirs. As our alumni base continues to grow at an incredibly rapid rate, our hope is to build supportive programming that leaves a legacy and allows people to remain connected and engaged to their purpose and the university for years to come. I would highly encourage anyone who is looking for an advocate in the world of higher education to consider GCU. We are building a community here that is committed to cheering you on towards a higher purpose. And all of that is being fueled by a simple concept, that together we can pioneer the world of private Christian education with America's promise of equal opportunity for all. That's my story, Lopes Up, back to you Alex. Noah, your message about how GCU is teaching the students not just how to live together, but how to thrive together is awesome. You can feel that energy all around campus here. Thanks again for that, Noah. Now let's head over to meet Andrea Northup. She's a GCU alumni graduating with a degree in business management and a minor in entrepreneurial studies. She is now working for Habitat for Humanity, and she has a great message to share about what conscious capitalism means at GCU. Andrea, please take it away. Hi, everybody.
everybody, my name's Andrea and I graduated from GCU a couple years ago and now I work for Habitat for Humanity here in Phoenix. When you're a business student, one of the main values taught to you is this idea of conscious capitalism. And what in the world is that? At GCU, business is meant to have a higher purpose. Instead of just looking to earn a profit, business is meant to care for and serve its local community. As a student and now at Habitat, I've been able to witness this idea of conscious capitalism firsthand. Every year, I see staff and students coming out to volunteer and staff give financially towards these different repair projects. The beautiful part about this relationship is that it's a hand up, not a handout. Families actually contribute roughly one third of the repair cost, and they also contribute a certain amount of sweat equity hours towards the completion of their repair. Every single year, GCU staff and students come out to volunteer, and it's such a blessing to see them interact with the different families on site. There have been multiple times families have said, you know, I can't believe complete strangers would come and help me build on my own home. Or seeing these students out here reminds me that God is still here and that they're still good in the world. There was even one time that GCU staff came out and this family brought out a frying pan and made burritos for everybody that had showed up to volunteer that day. It's these small moments that make me realize the value just isn't in the repair. It's in the bringing people together to help make it happen. In these past six years of partnership, GCU has been able to serve over 300 unique families, completing over 800 repairs, contributing over 26,000 volunteer hours and allocating over $3.8 million towards neighborhood repairs. And this idea of conscious capitalism isn't something that just stops at the College of Business. It's embodied from the top down. Multiple times I've witnessed President Brian Mueller come to volunteer on site unannounced. When he comes, he just grabs a paintbrush or a shovel and begins working alongside the next volunteer. Now, before Habitat and GCU, I had participated in several different community service projects around the world. By seeing GCU and Habitat partner together, I've been able to learn that to love your neighbor, you don't need to cross the border. You just need to take a drive. As business students continue to graduate from GCU, you're going to see more businesses care for and serve their surrounding community. It's a movement that has impact and it's a movement that I'm proud to be a part of. Alex, that is conscious capitalism. I'll pass it back over to you. Andrea, the purpose-driven work you're doing with Habitat for Humanity and GCU is so uplifting. That is beautiful. Thanks again for sharing your story. See you later, Andrea. Let's now head over to the Crosses on campus to meet Bethany. She received her undergraduate degree here in Christian Studies and is now pursuing her master's in counseling. And Bethany is going to speak about freedom and faithful leadership here at Grand Canyon University. The story she has about deciding to come here is just awesome. Bethany, please take it away. What's up, everybody? I am so excited to share my story on how I decided on GCU. I was in my senior year at a small Christian school in Colorado Springs, and I had dreamed of going to a big Christian university. I was student body president. I was in honors and dual enrollment courses each year in high school with a very high GPA. This presented me with the opportunity to apply to even Ivy League universities, as well as obtain multiple scholarship offers. However, months later, my parents and I were on a plane to Phoenix, Arizona to visit Grand Canyon University. And the first thing I noticed was the Latinx culture. There were Mexican restaurants and mom and pop shops. This drew in my multicultural loving heart, my striving for missions. Fast forward to a few days of getting to know campus and my parents and I were invited to a chapel service where the speaker was talking about the life of a warrior woman and giving credence to the power that women in leadership have. This kept tugging at my heart as I thought about the possible opportunities and experiences I could have here. So I decided to attend GCU to pursue my undergraduate in Christian studies with the intention of then going on to a master's in counseling. Throughout my time as a student in the theology program, I was given the freedom to explore at my own pace and I had a plethora of options around campus to further engage in my faith. One of the best parts about my experience as a student was getting to truly connect with the kids in this neighborhood through my student worker position, which eventually turned into my full-time position here at GCU while I work on my master's in counseling. 
I was given the opportunity to lead GCU's Thunder Vision program, which teaches college readiness to middle school students from neighboring Title I schools. These kids likely have never thought college would be an option for their life, but once they come to campus and they hear what we have to say, it changes everything, including themselves and their families' lives. Yes, I went into this program to change these kids' lives, but man, these kids have changed my life just as much. My husband and I love this neighborhood so much that we decided to move into it and become a part of this culture. I wouldn't have any of this if it weren't for GCU, and I know there's so many other people who have had these life-changing experiences here. It's almost magical. I have loved telling my story to you guys about my time here at GCU, and now Alex, it's back to you. What an incredible story. Your excitement for GCU is contagious. Thank you for opening up and telling us that awesome story. That was a lot of fun. Cheers, Bethany. Next, we're heading to the Jerry Colangelo Museum here on campus, where we're gonna meet the legend himself, Mr. Jerry Colangelo. He has owned professional sports teams such as the Phoenix Suns, the Arizona Diamondbacks, and was the managing director of USA Basketball, bringing home three gold medals. He is a legendary American businessman and sports executive, and he has played a big part in helping make GCU what it is today. Matter of fact, GCU's business college is named Colangelo College of Business. And he's gonna take a few minutes to speak about business being a force for good and his experience at Grand Canyon University. Mr. Colangelo, please take it away. It's great to be with all of you. And you know, whenever I come on campus, I, I just kind of get a thrill and I'm excited about what is happening, what's transpired over the last decade, and what is still to come. Another thing that has been very important to me is that the Christian philosophy, the Christian base that we have here at the university, I take pride in the fact that this school stands for what it does and takes the moral position that it does on all subjects. And it wasn't too long ago when Brian Mueller came to see me and asked me to really get involved with the School of Business here at the university. And that excited me. He had a unique vision in developing a hybrid product, an online emphasis, but building out a campus. And of course, what rang my bell was the fact that basketball was gonna be a calling card. And so one of the things I could do at that point was use my relationships to try and make that happen a lot sooner than it might ordinarily would have happened. So within a matter of months, we were in division one. We have a tremendously bright future in basketball and all sports here because there's a commitment. All of these things up on the wall talking about various things that have happened. History of Phoenix over the last 50 years, it was all about making a commitment and then following through. The growth of the school, the people coming from around the country is indicative of people looking for exactly what we've put in place here. Brian Mueller's leadership, the management team here, the organization as it's structured, is just committed to being the very best you could be. You know, this has been a great deal of fun for me going down memory lane, and I hope you enjoyed it. And now, back to Alex. Mr. Colangelo, thank you for taking some time to talk about why you are so personally passionate about Grand Canyon University. Your devotion to this university and its message to the world is present throughout campus. That was really special. Thanks again, Mr. Colangelo. Now let's head to Grand Canyon University's incredible basketball arena. We're now gonna meet up with Jamie Boggs. She is the Vice President Athletic Director, and she's excited to talk about what Division I athletics should look like. Jamie, the floor is all yours. Hi everyone, I grew up in Phoenix and used to come to Grand Canyon University back in the 1990s. I remember the campus being small and modest and there wasn't a large student body. After high school, I left the state for graduate school and also to pursue a career in athletics on the other side of the country. Uh, but I would still come home to visit family and come to Phoenix. And I remember on one occasion seeing this brand new 
state-of-the-art basketball arena, the one I'm standing in right now, but as I started to research GCU, I was surprised at the campus footprint and the growth of the student body. And from an athletic standpoint, the amazing facilities, the direction of the basketball program, and the connection with Jerry Colangelo, who is an icon in our industry. Coincidentally, a couple years later, an opportunity was presented to me to work at GCU and to help the university transition from Division II to Division I. In our short time as Division I members, we have won 27 conference championships and numerous academic accolades. I can say with certainty that the reason for our quick start to success is because of the committed support of our university president and our university administration and the GCU community. Last year, we recently hired two new head coaches for our men's and women's programs, Bryce Drew and Molly Miller. In his first season, Bryce Drew led our men's basketball program to the WAC regular season and tournament championships, as well as the university's first berth into the NCAA tournament. Molly Miller took over the women's basketball program and introduced an exciting, fast-paced brand of basketball that led the team to its first appearance in the WAC tournament championship game. Bryce and Molly brought impressive resumes to GCU and found immediate success in their first seasons while implementing faith-based team cultures. We're excited to have them here to help take our programs to the next level. Our baseball program continues to grow at a positive trajectory really quickly and we have big expectations on our head baseball coach, Andy Stankiewicz. And what I love about our coach is that they also embody the Christian mission and culture of service of our university. They know that we have everything that it takes to win, from a great culture to commitment from our university to the resources, and we're ready to get it done. The foundation and fabric of who we are is our Christian mission and our understanding that we are here to serve, that we are here to be the hands and feet of Christ, and we are here to glorify Him through our work every day. When I started here several years ago, I thought my role was to come here and show everyone at GCU what a Division I institution is. Instead, I have learned and continue to learn from GCU what a Division I institution should be. Back to you, Alex. What a story helping bring GCU to Division I. The facilities here are unbelievable and the student support is second to none. Thank you for walking us through what Division I should look like. It's awesome to see what you're all doing here. Thanks again, Jamie. Now we're heading to meet Josh Gillespie. He's a junior studying finance and economics with a double minor in business management and accounting. He is also president of the nationally known Havocs that put on one heck of a show at the basketball games. And he's gonna talk about the Havoc experience and what GCU pride and spirit is all about. Josh, you're on. Thank you so much. I'm really excited for this chance to talk to you all about the Havocs and the school pride we have here at GCU. So the Havocs are the student section here at the campus. We go to all the sporting events and bring the energy and excitement to every single one. The Havocs are a big part of the culture and the community here at GCU. I mean, just take a look up there and see what we got. So my freshman year, I joined the Havocs and it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. Being a part of the Havocs has been my favorite part of the on-campus experience. Whether it's running up the steps to get that front row seat at a game or going crazy with my friends at the biggest party in college basketball, I've loved every minute of it. To me, the Havocs are built on two key pillars. The first pillar is that we want to be the loudest and craziest student section in the nation. The second is that we want to be a place where students can come and be a part of an awesome community. One of the ways that the Havocs build community here on campus outside of the game day experience is through this really cool tradition we have. During the first week of students coming to campus, the Havocs leaders go door to door and visit every freshman and build that community early on. We want to establish that relationship and make them feel a part of the GCU community immediately. To me, being a student leader is all about serving students. Our motto as student leaders is to be students serving students. And we take that responsibility seriously. We want to create the best possible environment for each and every student on campus. And we are supported by our amazing executive staff here. From President Mueller all the way down, the support they give each and every student leader just sets us up for success. They genuinely care about making GCU the best experience it can be for a college campus. Well, it's been awesome talking to y'all about the havocs here at GCU. Alex, 
back to you. Josh, what you all are doing on and off the court is incredible, so fun. Somehow I need to sneak into that section and experience it for myself. That was great. Cheers, Josh. Next, we're heading to meet the provost of GCU, Dr. Hank Rada. There is no question that here at Grand Canyon University, there is one purpose, success of their students. And Dr. Rada is gonna take a few minutes speaking about academics with purpose and how GCU designs programs that prepare students for their careers from day one here at GCU. Dr. Rada, please take it away. Hey, thank you, Alex. On behalf of our faculty, the deans and our colleges, I'd like to welcome you to GCU and share with you some of our programs. We offer over 270 programs focused on building foundations for careers in business, healthcare, and nursing, theology, science and technology, humanities, fine arts, and education. Two exemplars of our programs can be seen in nursing and in engineering. GCU has been offering nursing for over 30 years and is known as an expert in delivering nursing education. The performance of our students is top notch. They are scoring over 96% on the NCLEX, the national exam that leads to licensure. Engineering is a new program for us, but we built it the same way as nursing, based on the outcomes, based on experience, and within our first ABET accreditation visit, we earned ABET accreditation and our industry partners are looking to hire our graduates and they're coming back after the first graduating class and hiring more. So we know that if you develop a program with the end in mind with industry partners, that the outcomes for students is very good. At GCU, student success is paramount. Our faculty and staff are dedicated to the success of students. We really get that feeling in terms of our faculty who go above and beyond the classroom in terms of student clubs, professional organizations, and internships with industry partners. It is this way of thinking that a student develops wholly as a person, not only in the classroom, but with industry experience that gives us the results we look for. The other support services academically come around students in our academic and career excellence centers so that students can get any extra help they need to be the best. Our goal at Grand Canyon University is to guide students to find their purpose so that they may become the next generation of leaders. Thank you for considering GCU. And with that, I'll turn it back to Alex. Dr. Rada, that was great. The way you're building the strongest academic student body in the Southwest while guiding students to find their purpose to become the next generation of world leaders is inspiring. Thank you again for that. Cheers, Dr. Atta. We are now heading over to Canyon Ventures, a business startup incubation center here on campus. And we're gonna meet up with Weston Smith. His undergraduate degree was in mechanical engineering, and now he's an MBA student with an amazing startup business story. And he's gonna speak about balancing entrepreneurship and education here at GCU. Hey, Weston, how are you, my man? I came to Grand Canyon University because I wanted to attend affordable Christian university that had a vibrant community and also offered an engineering program. And it's been transformative to be a part of a school that has such a strong entrepreneurial focus. A university where the gap between business and engineering is bridged. Where a student entrepreneur like me could come with an idea and launch it into a full scale business. I came to GCU to study mechanical engineering because of their extensive machine shop and engineering labs. The academics were rigorous, but they had one encompassing idea. GCU wanted to prepare us to be problem solvers and use our education to better people's quality of life. And that's what led me to launch Lux Longboards. Coming into my freshman year of college, I was immediately faced with the issue of transportation on campus. Well, my sophomore year of college, I actually purchased an electric longboard on a whim. And this immediately transformed my college experience. I could get around campus anywhere within five minutes versus spending up to 30 minutes a day walking. After having students continually stop me on campus to demo my electric longboard, my entrepreneurial instincts kicked in to solve their problem, which was commuting on campus. My sophomore year, I launched Lux Longboard Rentals LLC with the help of Professor Tim Kelly. At that time, I was taking a class taught by him that combined engineering with entrepreneurism. My mission was to save students time through electric longboard rentals. 
So I created a self-sustaining electric longboard rack that I designed in the engineering labs, and then I welded in the engineering machine shops. This led me to begin developing my own product line. We pivoted from longboard rentals and began electric longboard manufacturing. Our headquarters in light manufacturing space is located here in GCU's Canyon Ventures, a premier innovation and incubation hub. Is it a unique space that is home to almost 30 ventures where students can come get real work experience with entrepreneurs like me? At Canyon Ventures, I get a plethora of consulting and mentorship that helps me grow my business. The support from the staff, faculty, and leadership that has helped me as a young entrepreneur has been overwhelming. It has helped me grow this idea and solution into a full-blown business. GCU's innovative approach to bridging the gap between business and engineering continues to be a game changer for me. I am living proof that a good idea, a hard work ethic, and leaning into the resources provided by GCU can lead to success as a student entrepreneur. Lux Longboards is a product of amazing entrepreneurism taught here at GCU. And I know that if you have an idea or a small business, it will flourish here at GCU because this college is built for young entrepreneurs. Back to you, Alex. Weston, what an unbelievable story. Starting a company from scratch is so tough. And seeing how GCU came in behind and helped you build this into a full-fledged company is absolutely spectacular. Thank you for sharing that. By the way, I'm buying one of those skateboards. Cheers, Weston. Next, we're heading over to another beautiful part of GCU's campus to meet Kara. Kara received her Bachelor's of Arts in History and a minor in Athletic Coaching from the Honors College here at GCU. And she's gonna speak on how Grand Canyon University is empowering future leaders in this world. Kara, please take it away. Thank you so much, Alex. After watching my older sister attend GCU and seeing the financial and academic opportunities available, I knew I wanted to give GCU a shot. You see, I graduated high school with a 4.62 GPA and a perfect score on the SAT reading section, finishing sixth in my class. This presented me with the opportunity to apply to Ivy League universities as well as obtain scholarships. I wanted a challenging academic program close to home where I could grow as a leader, a professional, and most importantly, as a Christian. And GCU provided the perfect balance. Being super involved and being encouraged to be more well-rounded is a huge reason that I got involved on campus. I wasn't just a student leader. I played intramural sports. I was a member of the Havocs, which is our sports student section. I attended chapel on Mondays with 7,000 other students to hear the word of God and worship together. I took outdoor recreation trips to places like Seven Falls in Tucson. I went to as many on-campus events as possible, and I had a job with the Honors College. It was through being an RA for three years that I truly found my place at GCU and met some of the best people I know. I learned how to serve others in ways that were unexpected and behind the scenes. I learned how to put myself out there and communicate with people, and I learned how to better balance discipline with grace. While serving as RAs, a huge emphasis from the university is on how college should not just grow you academically. Dorm life should teach you how to be a good neighbor. Attending sporting events should teach you how to win and lose with grace. Playing intramural sports should teach you the value of physical health and taking mental breaks. GCU graduates should be well-rounded individuals that are prepared to serve wherever the Lord calls us. With the skills and confidence I gained during my time here at GCU, I applied for and became a White House intern during the fall of 2018. I then went on to intern for one of our Arizona senators and was hired full-time. It was with the help of several GCU faculty members who went above and beyond to help me with my applications, resume, professional development, interviews, and letters of recommendation that I was able to succeed in Washington, D.C. even after I had graduated and moved away. I would not be where I am today if it were not for the things I learned while here at GCU and as a student leader. But more importantly, I would not be where I am today if it were not for the community that GCU provided me. The people at this university truly care about us as students and alumni and want to see us change the world wherever God calls us to. I am so thankful for their impact on my life and for my time at GCU. Thanks so much for letting me share my story. Alex, back to you. 
Kara, thank you for sharing that. It's so fun to hear the awesome stories of GCU shaping leaders like yourself and so many other students going through these doors. That was great. Thanks, Kara. Now let's head over to the Canyon Worship Music Studio here on campus. What a studio this is, by the way. Here we're gonna meet up with Melissa, a mother of a student who went to school here at GCU. And her story will warm any parent's heart as they send their kid off to college. Melissa, please take it away. Thank you, Alex. So this must be the mom portion of the show. And I'm excited to share with you our experience as a family from our son's freshman year as a lope through his recent graduation. My beautiful gift of a spirited and idiosyncratic kid who never slept, never left my side, recited stats and facts, was on his way to a path that looked rather different than those of his classmates. He learned his way into situations and often found himself anxiety riddled and confused. During those tumultuous times, it was music that gave him the most peace. Here is where Grand Canyon University's story meets Austin's. From the first day we joined that car parade coming onto GCU's campus, we were overwhelmed that student after student was lined up sweating in that Arizona heat, cheering for him just to unload his boxes and take him up to his room. He was bombarded with words of welcome from the resident assistants and dorm life leaders. It was as if God had painted in the sky, we want you, yes, you. Every child feeling welcome is essential to esteem. But for those that have ever felt marginalized, that initial over-the-top welcome bears even more weight. From there, he went to further explore the campus and was given countless opportunities to join clubs and further engage. Inside the classroom, the faculty was equally as invested. As Austin shared, here's what's hard for me, he was met with, maybe try it this way or what works best for you. Learning was occurring on both sides of the table. His most fun on-campus highlight was going from a sound technician for worship nights to the resident DJ for all of GCU's major events. And he is actually now teaching digital music production. The enthusiasm and that constant sea of purple gave Austin a sense of belonging. And it has been my privilege as a mom to share this story. And now back to you, Alex. Melissa, that was so touching. We can't thank you enough for opening up and telling your story about Austin and how GCU so positively affected his life. That was amazing. Thanks again, Melissa. Now we're heading over to the prayer chapel here on campus to meet Donald Glenn. Donald is the director of the Multicultural Diversity and Inclusion Office here at GCU. And he's gonna speak on what unity in diversity through Christ is all about here on campus. Donald, the floor is all yours. I have the incredible pleasure of working for such a diverse group of people here at GCU. We have 90 countries that are represented in our community. My department's primary focus is to bring awareness and to highlight the various cultures and diversities that we have at Grand Canyon University. The institution itself has been very diligent about emphasizing the importance of equity and equality. And with the expansion of our office, moving from a student-facing program to a now institutional-wide serving department, we've had the opportunity to designate a place called the Inclusion Lounge, which is a place where students can come to express themselves on matters of multiculturalism, diversity, and inclusion. In addition to the Inclusion Lounge, we've also had the opportunity to host larger events on campus, such as our One Love Awareness Walk, which featured a walk around campus and concluded with a rally. And it centered on one message, the message of oneness, of unity, and of love. This is the beauty of GCU. This is why our department exists. This is the reason our team works so hard to center everything on Christ. It's not about the messenger. 
It's the message that is important. That when we all come together and sit down and have these textured and sometimes challenging conversations and dialogues that we learn what it really means to have unity through our diversity. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to share with you about the diversity and inclusion here at GCU. Back to you, Alex. Donald, thank you for taking us through how GCU includes everyone by uniting them through a sense of purpose. Cheers, Donald. Next, we're heading to meet up with Luis. He has an inspiring story that I know you're all gonna love. Luis is a junior studying computer science and business entrepreneurship, and he's gonna speak on students inspiring students here at GCU. Luis, please take it away. Hey Alex, I'm a 2018 Students Inspiring Students scholarship recipient. I'm actually not from here. My family is from Sinaloa, Mexico. I came to Phoenix when I was only three months old and I've been here ever since then. I grew up undocumented and that came with a lot of obstacles that I had to overcome. One of the biggest challenges was attaining higher education. There were so many obstacles before me and so many closed doors and I didn't think that it was for me. That was until I found out about Grand Canyon University. I chose GCU because they opened the door for me when nobody else would. What first brought me here was the amazing atmosphere. It was unlike anything else. However, what's kept me here are the incredible opportunities that they provide to the students. Coming from an immigrant background, ever considers the idea of going to college simply because they cannot afford it. Instead of school, they believe that working is the only option they have. I decided to go against that norm and be the example for my cousins, brothers, and sister. Being a first generation college student is difficult, but if they see that I can do it, then they'll believe that they can do it too. I couldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for the Students Inspiring Students Scholarship. They award full tuition scholarships to high school students. One of the requirements in getting the scholarship is doing community service hours by studying at the GCU Learning Lounge. The Learning Lounge is a free on-campus after-school tutoring program where K-12 students have the opportunity to be mentored by a college student who goes by the role of a learning advocate. And the lounge is just one of the many resources that GCU provides. To list a few, we have the First Year Experience Program, which helps new students transition into college. We also have academic and career excellence centers that we call A-Centers, where you can get help academically and professionally. One amazing community that I've been blessed to be a part of is TEDx Grand Canyon University. TEDx GCU is a fully student-led organization here on campus. We get to provide a TEDx talk event once a year. They range from marketing, finance and design, to production operations and speaker acquisition. And not only do we get to provide professional and meaningful experiences, we also get to do it in a fun and interactive way. I believe that a college education is more than learning skills for a job. It's learning how to understand the world around you. GCU provides that beyond comparison with their focus on community, faith, and student opportunity. Thank you all so much. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Back to you, Alex. Luis, your story is exciting and encouraging. We really appreciate you taking the time to open up about your journey here at GCU. That was a lot of fun. Thanks, Luis. I wanna personally thank all the incredible students, alumni, professors, faculty, leadership, and friends of GCU for sharing their personal stories so you can see what makes Green King University so special. I am so impressed by each and every one of you. It's powerful hearing your stories of purpose and what the university is doing to create special leaders throughout this world. Even though this university is big, the sense of being a family is felt all around campus. Well, that's it for me. Now it's up to you all to go learn more about what Grand Canyon University is all about for yourself. And hopefully we'll see you on campus real soon. Cheers, everyone.